Welcome to Sunday Reach by the Dominicans. In today's gospel, we have the parable of the tenants. So the master distributed tenants to his servants according to their capacities. And the master expected return out of these talents when he comes back. And so he takes account of every person. First one comes, he gives his details, how much he has earned from the talents that he was given. And so the second one. But the third one, we are told that he did not invest his talents and he buried his talents out of fear. The master is angry and he calls him wicked and lazy servant and there is punishment for him. Few things of this gospel let us try to apply to our life today. First of all, when the passage talks about the talents, the scripture scholars are trying to understand the amount or the quantity of the talent. They are not able to really explain the amount of the talents. One of the opinions says that the talent could be a wage of an ordinary worker for 15 years. But generally, the understanding is it was a huge amount. Talent would be a huge thing. It was not a simple thing or a little thing. So that's basically the idea. A huge amount was given to the servants. So when we take this as, you know, as we begin our reflection from the talent perspective, the master gave a rather huge amount of talents depending on each capacities. Same way, God blesses us with huge amount of talents. If you look into your life, you are filled with lots of talents in your life and so these talents we are supposed to be using them for our sustenance for the sake of the others for our family and so on today we are exposed to the media world especially through the videos that we get on YouTube and so on and for many times we see these motivational videos where Many, many people who are handicapped, who are physically challenged, who do not have arms, limbs, or many of them are blind. And yet we see they do all the work that an ordinary person with all their faculties could do. In fact, some of these so-called handicapped or physically challenged people they are much, much better than us. They, can, they could do much greater jobs than us. You people have seen it. I need not explain every person. So when we look at these people who are one hand, they are handicapped yet, there is no limit for them to achieve things in their lives. What does it show? It simply shows that absence of certain organs in them does not make them handicapped at all. Rather, they are capable. In fact, they are much better and they are much greater than us in, when it comes to the performance and, and a lot of other you know, great jobs that they do. So from this perspective, what I would say is God has blessed us with lots of gifts, lots of talents. No one can say, I am an incomplete person. No. All of us are given enough talents that is required for each one's needs. And so, no one is created incomplete by God. All are created complete. But it is our failure in discovering our talents. If you have not come to that self-actualization, then it is your failure. You have not discovered your talents or you have not polished or perfected or improved 
upon your talents and that is your failure otherwise you would have been that level of self actualization by discovering your more and more talents by perform practicing them more and more by improving upon them you would have reached to that level of self actualization the fact that you have not reached to that level is our failure and so it is not god who failed in giving you rather from this parable is very clear god has given you abundant of uh, talents and gifts that you need in your life you cannot blame any person or the environment or god for your failures in life no you are blessed enough to look for food for you to maintain your family and other things that are required that many qualities that we have we see this in the people who lack a physical uh, abilities and yet these people have achieved great heights in their life But dear brothers and sisters i see human beings at three levels or three aspects of human life the physical or personal aspect of human person the social aspect of human person and the spiritual aspect of human person at physical and personal aspect i have just spoken god has blessed you enough with gifts and talents that you need for your survival not only your survival for your extended family members survival and for your personal growth god has blessed you enough and more talents we have already discussed in the previous part you as a social being god has also blessed you the qualities that are required to be social to be acceptable in the society and what are some of those qualities required is by basically because you are a social being you need to be considerate towards the other person just the way you know your value of life you know your dignity therefore you also need to know the dignity of the other person you need to respect the other person you need to care for the other person you need to respect his dignity and that is the social aspect that we live and therefore you want to live that in the fullest sense the qualities that we need the talents that we need god has given us therefore you need to love your neighbor as good samaritan you need to respect your neighbor his dignity and value of life and these are talents and gifts god has given us if you have failed in it the reason why you are failing is you have not realized that these are the talents that you possess in you you have not invented those talents that are there in you you have not discovered them so my dear brothers and sisters as we live our life in societies we need to discover the talents that are required to be part of the society and to uplift and to be along with the other person and i believe for that also god has given you enough and more talents the third aspect of human person is that he is a spiritual being every few human person is a spiritual being along with your physical being along with your social uh, being you are also physical being and therefore god has given you enough and more gifts to explore the spiritual life especially for us christians god has blessed us with the holy spirit and it is the holy spirit that makes us holy it is through the holy spirit god has given us varieties of gifts these gifts are for your growth and for the growth of the people around you for the other to build the kingdom of god now everybody has given these gifts as long as you have the holy spirit in you you have the gifts of spiritual life you have the gifts of god in you specially to be utilized 
in the kingdom of God, to proclaim the kingdom of God, to establish the kingdom of God. And therefore, you have the gift of faith, you have the gift of prayer, you have the charism of the Holy Spirit. These are all given to us. If you have failed in your spiritual life to build your relationship with God, then it is not the mistake of anyone but yours because you have failed in utilizing the gifts that are given to you by God, especially to build your relationship with Him. And so my dear brothers and sisters, it's our responsibility to grow ourselves in spiritual life. Because it is the spiritual life that, that will build your relationship with God. It is your spiritual life that will make you to understand the realities of God and in return you will understand who you are and what is your responsibility towards the society and towards yourself. And therefore these gifts God has already given to us. Very often we see people, they take care of their personal life they are also very sociable. They reach out to a number of people and they do a great job in society. But when it comes to spirituality, they lack. They do not believe. No. It is the spirituality, the relationship with God, that makes your relationship with others much better and realistic and meaningful, fulfilled and satisfied. And therefore, it is important our relationship with God through which we are able to build our relationship with others. So these talents that are required to build this relationship with God, God has given to us. So the three levels of our, our life, that is your physical, personal being, your social life and your spiritual life. God has blessed us enough for all of us to live our life to the fullest, to complete to reach to that uh, self-actualization level. So therefore we need to work on ourselves and reach to the self-actualization level. That's what God would expect us to reach there. At the end, God would take the account of our life, just the way the master called each servants and asked them to present their accounts of the talents that were given to them. And so what was the reward given to them? The reward was the higher responsibilities, those who succeeded. And so they were given a higher responsibilities. Also those who succeeded, they were given uh, the share in the joy of their master. Very beautiful thing, being part of the joy of the master. My dear brothers and sisters, and the one who failed, he was punished. There's, there is a little, uh, you know, an another aspect from the master's side that the master expected the last, the, the lazy and the crooked servant, uh, at least little expectation was there. He said, you could have, if you do not use this talent, at least you should have put it in the bank and take some interest on it. So a little expectation was there. Say we, my dear brothers and sisters, God does expect from you in return what he has given to you. We cannot fail at that level. We have to answer for all our acts, for all our talents that we have. And therefore, what is important today is to recognize ourselves. If you dig yourself more and more, you'll find more and more talents and gifts and abilities. You can keep on transforming yourself from, from all three levels. That's your personal, physical level, your social level and your spiritual level. The more you go deeper into yourself, you will discover more and more talents. And then you will grow more with all three levels. You'll be, you'll be reaching to your uh, self-transformation and at the end, self-actualization. Why does God take account of us? Yes, He does. He has given us generously all these gifts and talents for which you were not worthy of. And yet, God has given you these talents generously and out of love. These talents are given to you so that you, you become independent and you reach to that level of self-actualization and self-satisfaction where you find yourself complete and satisfied. Along with that, you have also uh, responsibilities towards the society. There also you contribute with your talents, you contribute to the society and help the society also 
its transformation and society's uh, self actualization and at the end through the spiritual uh, life that you have through the holy spirit you you reach to the heights of holiness and this is what god wants from us and that is the reason we need to discover our talents we need to practice our talents we need to perfect them and reach to the self actualization and self satisfaction and yes this is what god wants from us and so my dear brothers and sisters let us not waste our life that let, let us not waste our talents let us not waste our god given abilities rather be grateful and keep on discovering more perfect them and reach to your self satisfaction in all the three aspects of life